Grand Sam Betters here with your daily free sports pick for Monday, August 30th. A quick shout out to those of you that stayed up late with us last night during our Browns Falcons live stream. It was a great time had by all. Quick turnaround this morning to get this uh, free pick in, but we do have an MLB pick for you today. First though, hey guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can provide you with all our free picks and free predictions for the year 2021 and beyond. Also, go ahead and smash that like button. College football has started. The NFL is starting soon. Oh, it's a good time of the year. We cannot wait for football to be in full gear. Now, let's take a quick look at yesterday's best bet, and that was in the Red Sox-Indians game. We had the Red Sox team total over 5.5, which did end up losing uh, they ended up actually losing the game 7-5, to five, lost by the hook again, second day in a row. Um, actually, the Red Sox had a no-hitter going in this game into the sixth inning. Now, looking at this game first and foremost, there was a three-hour rain delay before the game even got started. It started raining as the national anthem was playing. And to be honest, this just kind of hurt us right off the bat because, listen, we were fading Eli Morgan with this pick. He left after only three innings, after only throwing 45 pitches, mainly because the guy warmed up four different times uh, during the game, thinking the game was going to start. Whoever's in charge of the tarp and the radar in Cleveland uh, is awful. Remember the 2000, what was it, 16 World Series with the rain delay in Cleveland for 15 minutes? It's the same thing that happened yesterday. They just don't know when to put a tarp on. Anyways, it's unfortunate that Morgan only went three innings because, as we alluded to yesterday, he gives up home runs, and he already had given up two home runs in the first three innings. Now, the Red Sox, though, had multiple opportunities to score one more run in this game uh, against an Indians bullpen that they had scored uh, off of three straight relievers. The problem was every time the Red Sox scored one run, they just couldn't get another big hit in an inning. They ended up going one for eight with runners in scoring position, the Indians took advantage of the Red Sox not being able to score any more runs because they ended up putting up seven runs over the sixth, seventh, and eighth innings against that bullpen to win the game. So uh, just a crazy game overall. But how honestly, the display yesterday that the Red Sox showed not being able to close out that game up 5-0 uh, should worry Red Sox fans because I don't think they're going to be able to hold that wild card spot if they continue to play like that. In the end, though, the bet loses by the hook. But we aren't going to look back at yesterday. We're going to look forward into today's bet. And we're going to look into the Phillies-Nationals game tonight. The Nationals are going to send out rookie uh, Josea Gray to the mound, who's 0-1 with a 3.75 ERA and a 1.19 uh, whip in six career starts. One of those starts was against the Phillies this season, in which he gave up five. Uh, he went five innings, gave up four runs, uh, four hits, sorry, and one earned run. So pretty good outing against the Phillies earlier this year. Now, he actually started the season with the Dodgers, got roughed up a bit in two appearances with them, but has settled nicely in with the Nationals as they look to play spoiler tonight against the Phillies. Now, the Phillies are going to throw out their bread and butter tonight. Zach Wheeler, 10-9 and nine on the season, 2.90 ERA and a 1.01 whip on the season. Uh, he's faced the Nationals five times this year. They know each other very well. And the results for Wheeler have been very consistent against the Nationals this year. He's given up at least five hits, two earned runs in each of those starts. The Nationals actually hit very well, 317 against Wheeler. And that's why we're going to look at the Nationals team total over three today. With the proven consistency the Nationals hitters have against Wheeler and a Phillies bullpen that we have been fading for the second half of the season, especially since they've been used over 17 innings over the last few days. We think the Nationals can hit this team total. Um, so, best bet August 30th is Nationals team total over 3.5. Guys, there's only one more day left of daily videos before we really buckle into our football seasons. So, sit back, relax, enjoy the MLB today, and we'll see you tomorrow.